Hey, it's Wayne Carini. I'm here at the Quail Gathering, and this is a spectacular event, but I just ran into a really great friend of mine, Freeman Thomas. Good to see you, man. Good to see you, too, yeah, Wayne. And, and Freeman's with Myers Manx now, and uh, what's, your, what's your title over there? Well, President I, of the company? I'm C CEO and Chief Creative Officer. Perfect, perfect. Yeah. What a, what a fantastic opportunity for you and them to have you on board. Well, it's a lot of fun, as yeah. you can see. Yeah. <laughs> well, Myers Banks, you know, we knew about him when I was a kid. It was, it was the vehicle to have, you know, a dune buggy. But it's come, it's, it's exploded. Everybody wants a Myers Banks. And then you're, you're starting a new company that remanufacturing, but from the original Myers Banks family. Yes, yes. So we acquired the company directly from Bruce and Winnie Myers um, and back in about 2020. And, um, you know, and I've known Bruce since the 1990s when I ran the Volkswagen Design Studio, so we became really good friends. And um, when we started talking with Philip Seraphim, he looked at me and basically said, you're the, you're the only one I want to sell this company to. Wow. And he was already in his 90s. And I think that he knew that we would curate, you know, his legacy and his brand and grow it, you know, to where we could go after, you know, you know after Bruce. So, so it's, a, it's a vehicle very similar, but very different at the same time. Yes. Uh, and, and so it's electric powered. Yes. But you're also making gas powered vehicles, is that correct? Yes, so we, we, we're doing the full gambit. We, we, we think that there's different passions you know, with 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 automotive uh, people and enthusiasts that go everything from the DIY want to build something themselves with their family, um, and we sell brand new kits. You know, with with the body and all the parts and pieces, and later we'll be coming out with our own chassis that's professionally engineered. Um, but the current one allows you to go on a shortened VW platform, yep. and there are people that still want to do it that way with the Volkswagen Power. Oh, sure. And then um, later we're going to do rollers, where where people just add an engine and gearbox. Gotcha. And then, the, and that's kind of our classic range of vehicles, and we're going to come out with more vehicles in the classic side. And then on the modern side, we're we're going all electric. Um, uh, they're sustainable. Uh, it's short, sort of the two ends of the spectrum. Yeah. And uh, electric is very interesting because the drivetrain that we're using and we're developing is very lightweight. It's very powerful. As an example, this is the Manx 2.0. We have the drivetrain, which we have on display behind us, is a dual engine setup. It puts out about 202 horsepower um, with a pouch cell battery pack. Um, that will give a range of about the, the base one 150 and the optional one up to 300 wow. miles of range. Uh, very powerful, very torquey. Uh, the whole setup with the three pack, uh, the 20 kilowatt, is less weight than the original Volkswagen engine and gearbox. Wow. And yet it's pushed for, more forward in, into the chassis. All aluminum monocoque chassis, um, double wishbone. Uh, you know, independent suspension all the way around, electric steering, regen braking, um, smart dash, but all analog, 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 analog. You know, easy, intuitive to use, simple. Well, you know, this brings the fun back to automobiles again. You it know, does. Simplicity and fun, and that's what everybody wants, you know, to be able to go out and enjoy themselves, have a good time. And with the electric, you really don't have to worry about maintenance or anything. You just plug it in. But yeah, with that like kind of range, I mean, not everybody's just going to get in these things and drive them 300 miles. So it's a, it's a fun vehicle that you can go to the beach and come back. 100 yeah, miles, yeah. maybe round trip. Yeah, and it's, it's, it's a fast charge system, so you'll you'll rarely have to be charging it up. It also has AC and heat as standard. Wow. You know, so and and on the 2.0, we're, we're we'll be having optional doors. This roof comes off, so there's a lot of people that want to be in the open air, um, and it's easy, uh, like you said. And uh, you know, there's a saying: the only way you can predict the future, the future is by creating it. That's and right. that's, you know, as a designer, that's a dream, you know, is to be able to be in a position to be able to take not only my passions, but the people I've grown up with and the people that surround me. And they see all of this being controlled by so many different people and different opinions. Yet, you know, it, 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 why can't we have it? Why can't we have it all? That's right. That's right. When, and then, of course, you got a four passenger one yes. now that you're just designing and building. Yes. So, so you're, you're, you're fitting all, you're plugging all the holes. Everybody's going to yes, be happy. Yes, and there's a lot more to come. That's our new resorter, uh, NEV, Neighborhood Electric Vehicle. Uh, so where we have that on uh, 
uh, offer today, you know, starting, we just introduced it, that starts at $49,000. This starts at $74,000. And this is, this is allowed to be on every road at, at all speed limits all over. This one is limited to 25 miles per hour because it's in the neighborhood electric vehicle category, but allowed on roads, okay. 35 miles and, and lower. But right. it's going to be offered all over the world, including in Europe with higher speed versions. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Thank you, Wayne. Thanks for bringing the, the brand back. Yeah. That's great. And the fun back. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, of course.